Record milk production, weak export demand, and low milk prices continue to impact our local dairy farms. But local processors are doing what they can to help the market. It all starts with a focus on a quality product. And we actually have enough milk for our plants right now because the producers are just giving us some great quality milk over the years. And, um, so we're not in a procurement mode, but it's a great opportunity to uh, talk with our producers um, and hear where some of their concerns are, talk to them about what we want them to be doing on improving milk quality or working on different things such as animal welfare, those type of things. Agar Pure Cheese processes more than 1.6 billion gallons of milk each year at 39 locations across North America. They have continued to operate local cheese stores, keeping the names communities are familiar with. With Crohn's and Simon's, and we've held on to those names because it's name recognition, and uh, consumers can just come every day and see and buy quality dairy products that comes from the community. When it comes to working with farmers and addressing the milk surplus? One of the things we've done in the last several years is, is really try to over communicate with our producers. What are their plans for growth? And try to, and or um, uh, retraction, because we do know there's, there's farms that are planning on selling out as well. Um, as disappointing as that is, we do have a, a solid milk supply and a growing milk supply. And so um, what are we gonna do internally? Are we gonna match that? with some external growth ourselves. You know, we've, we're always looking at tweaking our products uh, output and our plants and uh, hopefully able to utilize that, that surplus um, on an individual basis or a company basis. So we're doing our part by trying to be more efficient and, and run those products uh, through. So. The company also knows the value of building relationships and demand for Wisconsin cheese outside of the U.S. Ultimately, right now, one out of seven days of milk production in the U.S. goes to export. And so there are export markets out there. and We have some export individuals on our team that um, are in Asia and, and Europe. And uh, Asia is one of our growing markets as well. When you hear Wisconsin, it's, it's valued.